Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my channel on do-it-yourself home projects and real home product reviews. Hoping to save y'all time and money out there. In this video, we're gonna be trying to solve the problem. I've got one monitor and two computers. I know a tough problem to have, right? A work computer and a personal computer. And I really don't wanna have to unscrew the cable, the BGA blue cable there you can see, each time into the monitor. What a huge pain in the butt. So I'm looking for a toggle, a switch of some type, and I think I have found it. So I will put a link in the description below, but basically a common third VGA cable is what I need. I already had two VGA cables, one for my work computer, one for my personal, but I needed a third one. And I'll show you why here in a second. This is the actual device that I bought. I can't remember the name of it. It's something like a splitter or splitter splicer or something it basically takes two vga inputs and then uh in, in into the back and then it sends out one signal with this handy little toggle switch you can see those blue buttons there a and b so we're gonna get this thing all hooked up and see if it works and solves my problem by the way i needed a lightning adapter for my mac if you're interested i'll throw a link down below too to plug into the blue vga cable there the Mac does not have a VGA input. Anyway, we'll take the VGA cable from my Mac and the VGA cable from my work computer, and we'll plug both of those respectively into the back of the device. Now I'll take the third cable that I bought and put it into the back of the monitor. We'll screw that down and secure it into the back of the monitor, and the end of that cable goes into the input on this new little device that I have, just like that. And it sits nicely kind of in the corner. I like the finish, by the way. It's black or dark gray, I would say. It kind of matches the motif, if you will. And we'll go ahead and get this fired up. I had to remember to press the correct button. B is for my work computer there. So with that pressed down, I'll wiggle the mouse. And voila, boots right up really quickly, actually. It recognized that signal very fast. So I like that. Mission accomplished there, right? So... Let's get a closer look there just so you can see that it's on and indeed working. Now I'm gonna take the USB receivers for the mouse and the keyboard because I only want one mouse and one keyboard, right? Not two separate ones. And I will plug that in directly. A uh, very quick little transfer there. Not a huge inconvenience at all. And we'll wiggle that. Now the Mac, the personal computer should recognize this signal. Again, I had to make sure I pressed the right button. That was easy to forget, but I'll press that A button and boom, it automatically recognizes that. How cool is that? So I think we've got ourselves a solution here. Problem solved with this little device. One monitor, two computers, and you can easily toggle back and forth. Hopefully this video has been helpful for more do-it-yourself videos and real home product reviews. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.